Guys, today is very exciting. We're going somewhere that I haven't been. I've only been once. I, I wanna say I've never been, but I have been once when I was in middle school in Boston. But this is totally different. So I'm gonna go ahead and say I've never been. So we're going somewhere that I've never been. But first things first. Hey, thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you? How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Can I please get a venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew? But instead of vanilla syrup, can I get three pumps of peppermint? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we just made it. I don't even know yet if I've said hello. What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie. New here, why do I always say it like that? I don't, I don't know, I need help. I also need coffee. I haven't even taken a sip yet. Like I was saying, if you are new here, my name is Katie, I live in Orlando, Florida. I make shop with me videos, home decor videos, hauls, Target, anything to do with home goods. All that kinds of fun stuff so if you love videos like that definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also make sure you hit the subscribe button down below I'm really excited about today's video like I said I'm somewhere that I've like kind of never been I haven't been here in forever a brand new Aldi just opened really close to my house and I'm really excited I'm not normally like one to like seek out an Aldi like I said I literally haven't been here since like I lived in Boston and went with my mom one time in middle school and I didn't like it so I never went back it's brand new so I definitely knew that I had to check it out I know that a lot of you guys love Aldi so I'm really coming to see what all the hype is about I did bring a quarter because I have heard that you need a quarter to like get a shopping cart and I brought my own grocery bags as well so we have those two things good to go but I'm really excited I'm hoping to like spend under $100 and get food for like five ish days so we will see what they have the store, like I said, just opened and it's super packed. So like, I don't know if they'll have like inventory problems or like that sort of thing, but I'm gonna see what I can get my hands on and I will definitely take you guys along with me. I have seen like some like Aldi hidden gems. So I'm gonna be looking for stuff like that. It's also fun too, because I've never done a grocery store shop with me. So let's head inside and see what they have at our brand new Aldi. Okay, so just like I thought, they maybe are having some inventory issues because like I said, the store just opened, but it says that they apologize and they are doing everything they can to keep the shelf stock. But I totally understand, like it literally just opened and there's not another Aldi anywhere close to here. So I'm not surprised that it's been really popular. Okay, so I just got into the store. It is like pretty small. But it's kind of like a fresh market if you've ever been there. A little bit bigger than a Trader Joe's. I really wanted this to be a Trader Joe's because we don't really have one that close. But I am really excited that it's an Aldi because we also didn't have one of those. It looks really nice because it is brand new, but I'm really excited to show you guys everything they have and also pick up some stuff for us and see like what kind of deals they have. Let's go ahead and get shopping. Okay, so immediately when you walk in is like all the produce, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna head over. Also, these carts are massive, like literally the biggest, widest shopping cart I've ever seen. I will say the only thing I miss is the fact that it doesn't have a cup holder. I really wish that it had a cup holder, but that's okay. Honestly, most carts don't, but I just wish that it did, especially because it's like new. And then also here's the thing where you have to like put the quarter. Here's the part where you have to like put the quarter in. So basically it like unlocks from here and then you just push the quarter in and you do get your quarter back at the end, but I don't know, I feel like a lot of people don't have change on them. I have my bags with me and we are ready to go. First things first, these little like easy peel mandarins, $2.69, that's a great deal. We eat a bunch of these, so I'm definitely getting those. Another great deal, $2.69 for this bag of Gala apples. These are the kinds of apples we eat, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these. This is a smoking hot deal, 50 cents for an avocado. Normally it's like three avocados for $5 at other stores like Publix, so that is an awesome, awesome deal. Also looks like they have like varying degrees of ripeness, which I always like to see because you can buy some to eat now and then buy some that are more ripe and less ripe that you can eat as the week goes on. Okay, so this is fun. This is the on the go section. So it's like all different like dips and stuff. Also was excited to see that they don't just have Aldi brand stuff. They do have like big brand stuff. So like the stock cold brew coffee, honestly a really similar price to like Target and Publix and stuff. So probably not gonna pick that up here, but definitely gonna look at the other types of coffee products that they have. They also have like a cauliflower dip. This looks pretty yummy. Roasted chili and pepper jack cauliflower dip. That looks really good, but we are trying to be healthier. So I'm not gonna get that. A tzatziki dip, a crab rangoon and lobster roll dip, like so many different fun dips they also have like different chicken salads these are perfect lunches and these are super cheap you could definitely grab these to go that's definitely the whole point of the on the go section they have a bunch of different types of guacamole they also have like quesos salsas this one looks really good a mango pico de gallo that actually looks 
delicious. Maybe I'll pick this up and we can do like a taco night. And they also have a bunch of like salsas and hummuses. For salsas, I don't see any that even says that they like have a hot one, so I'm not gonna pick up any of these, but they really do have a lot of organic products here, which I'm really impressed by so far. We have been obsessed with making yogurt parfaits lately with these three fruits specifically, raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. The prices are pretty good. It's $2 for this thing of a blueberry, so I'm definitely gonna make sure I pick up one of those. Same price for a thing of raspberries, and these look so perfect. And then also $2 for a thing of blackberries. I have seen people talk about these from Whole Foods and stuff and they have them here at Aldi as well those cotton candy grapes I've tried them personally I'm not a fan I just don't really like green grapes and the fact that it tastes like cotton candy kind of freaks me out it seems super unnatural so I'm not gonna get these but they do have these here if you like them or if you've ever been looking to try them okay this is one thing I came in hoping to get some red grapes they are in season but I like my grapes to be really crunchy and none of them feel super crunchy here honestly if you can just walk into a store and pick up a bag of grapes without squeezing them I don't trust you they have a great veggie selection great prices like bags of Brussels sprouts for $1.69 some bags of asparagus for $2.59 lots of different types of mushrooms tons of different veggies radishes something i feel like i don't see at a lot of stores shallots ginger lots of really cool stuff every type of potato you could ever hope to see at a grocery store and onions they also have the bite-sized medley potatoes they're like the red and yellow potatoes mixed really good price only two dollars for the bag we normally buy these at Publix and they're like four or five dollars a bag so that's a great deal okay so here are the organic berries they're about a dollar more than the non-organic ones so whichever you want to get great deal for organic fruit though and it looks really good they have tons of fun pre-bag salads they also have like the ones that you can pre-make so like sunflower chopped salad chopped salad kits chipotle cheddar italian chopped salad kit southwest chopped salad kit tons of fun salad kit options and they're all under three dollars they have a like little pastry section with tons of different like cookies perfect little platters for like a party for only 5.99 they also have these like Kringle things. I feel like people talk about these from Trader Joe's. It's $5 here, the Kringles, almond, and raspberry. So they have a couple different flavors. Honestly, they look super, super tasty. People always rave about these from Trader Joe's. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Like I said, Brian and I are trying to be healthy, so I just need to walk away. <sighs> my weakness in life. They have a lot of healthier options. Like they have sprouted grain bread here. It's only $3.99. At Publix, they do sell this, but it's in like the frozen section, and I think it's like $5 a loaf, so that's a good deal. They have sunflower seed bread, so a lot of different things for different diets. Love to see this. This is actually the bread that we get. We don't get the thin slice one, and we like the green one. They have a couple different colors if you eat the Dave's Killer bread. I don't really think that this is a better deal than other grocery stores, so I'm not going to pick this up. One, because it's not the kind that we really like, and the price, like, isn't better so i'm not gonna pick that up okay this is one thing i was like interested in trying brian and i are not doing keto we definitely don't eat keto but this keto friendly bread seems like pretty decent i feel like you could toast anything and put peanut butter on it and it would taste good so i kind of want to get it but i don't know so a lot of stuff is aldi brand but they do have name brand stuff too it's like trader joe's kind of where like a lot of stuff is trader joe's brand but then they do work with some brands i'm like heading over into like this snacky chip type section and i'm laughing because the packaging of some of this stuff looks really similar to like a lot of name brands so i'll definitely make sure i point all that stuff out for you but it's really funny okay so these i love and they're honestly like pretty healthy there's like really nothing in them they're just like classic italian pizzelli cookies or pizzelles i feel like people say them a couple different ways but these are so yummy and i kind of want to get them they have vanilla flavored and they also have chocolate flavored ones these look so similar to all the keebler ones so like fudge stripe cookies caramel coconut fudge cookies like the girl scout one peanut butter cookies lots of different things I raved about these in my world market video these are not like the true brand but they look just like it even like the shapes like the pretzel shaped one and then like the rectangle all that stuff here they have them for $2.99 so definitely a great deal and I'm sure they probably taste extremely similar okay now that's just sacrilege I could never cheat on Oreos like that these are intriguing to me I feel like I've seen a lot of people talk about these cauliflower crackers and I never know where they bought them but now I guess I know that they are from Aldi I kind of want to try these but I feel like obviously they're not going to be anything like Cheez-Its so not really sure if i should waste the money they also do have like saltines those are not like the original saltines these are like the aldi brand ones but they look really similar plus like oyster crackers is anyone else weird like me and likes to eat saltines with like peanut butter and jelly on them anybody else anyone this is what i'm talking about when i say that they look really similar so they actually do have cheez it's here and then they have their brand of cheez it's and they look really similar this box is bigger so it is more expensive it's 255 and then that's just like the normal size box for 195 but it's just funny how 
similar they look. You didn't say wheat thins, you said thin wheat. That is an extremely deep reference and if someone can guess it right, I will Venmo you a dollar. Literally, why don't they sell hot salsa here? They don't have a single thing of hot salsa. They do have a bunch of different types of tortilla chips though. Really comparable prices to other stores, but they have a lot of different options like blue corn, white corn, different shapes, that sort of thing. This is giving me like extreme smart food vibes. The black and white bag with the yellow, definitely smart food vibes. And it is white cheddar popcorn, so I see what they were going with there. And then like this Sims brand, same thing, reminds me of Slim Jims. So I see what you were going there. Slim Jims, Sims sort of the same they have a good variety of spices for really good price i'm in like the baking aisle i believe they have a lot of like oils spices that sort of thing and they are super super cheap okay i know this is so random but i'm just gonna buy one of these because i don't know i just feel like we're going to need it sometime in the next two weeks so i'm just gonna go ahead and get one here because it's only a dollar okay more chips these are supposed to be like doritos so these are like nacho and ranch flavored really similar they kind of look like doritos and then this looks like one of those like Lay's bag of combo chips. And they actually, it's so funny because they have like the off-brand one and then they actually have like this one next to it. And here it is $6.98. I've really been wanting to put together a basket for delivery drivers. So I might actually go ahead and get this so that I can do that today. They also have a really fun beer and wine selection. I actually haven't heard of anything that they have here. So I might go ahead and grab something for Brian if I see something that I think he might like. Okay, I don't know what this is, but it looks bomb. Wine, chocolate, chocolate wine. Wait, what? Huh? A blend of red wine with dark chocolate flavor and finest cream. Um, has anybody had this? Can you tell me if this is good? Because I kind of want to try it, but like also I'm scared. The specialty wine chocolate is $7.50. Okay, here is their cheese selection. People have actually told me that they have a really good cheese selection, so I'm really excited to like scour through this and see what I can find. The first thing I saw that looks so good to me is goat cheese. They have like different flavored ones. Here's cranberry cinnamon. Like, mm, that sounds so good. They also have like different types of brie. So they have this one and then they have like a baking brie and it already comes with like a cranberry glaze on it. They also have one that comes with pecan nuts and honey so that's really cool super easy appetizer you just have to toast some bread up to go with it for $6.99 these are also such like a good party appetizer they're just the cheese balls and they have a couple different varieties of flavors of the port wine cheese those look so good and they're just so easy just throw some crackers around it and you're really just good to go okay for $3.49 they have some crazy flavors of cheese like cajun cheddar cheese coffee and lavender cheddar cheese sea salt and honey and then like a hatch chili one. Oh my god this is so crazy this would be so fun for a charcuterie board speaking of a charcuterie board this would really be the perfect place to come they have these like pre-made trays this one's 11.99 honestly that's a steal make your life so easy and then other ones too like they have salami prosciutto those are 3.99 for all those pre-made slices and then a deli selection with like Babagol, salami, calabrese, more prosciutto, so much good stuff, and the prices are literally a steal. They have some different like accompaniments as well. So they have like olives, just so many different types of meat, so many different types of cheeses. This is definitely the place to come for your holiday charcuterie board. Okay, so they don't have a deli here, like where you can go up and they like cut it and you pick what you want, but they do sell all like the sliced meats, really good prices, all different types, but they don't have like a deli, which could be make or break for some people. So I just wanted to let you know all different types of like meat all the different sliced meats they have a lot of different brands as well they have like maple smoked ones oven roasted black forest like all the stuff you'd find at a regular deli but they just don't slice it here fresh for you they do have a really good deal on breadcrumbs and picking up one of each they have both the kinds i love which are the italian style breadcrumbs and just panko i'm gonna try to recreate that hello fresh meal that i made a couple weeks ago in one of my videos because it was really really good so i'm gonna pick up these panko breadcrumbs they do have all your typical like condiments and stuff honestly most of it is off-brand like off-brand ketchup mustard mayonnaise that sort of stuff this looks really similar to sweet baby rays and they actually have sweet baby rays right next to it so that's funny but yeah most of it is off brand they do have some on brand like miracle whip i'm extremely picky about my condiments they have to be really specific brands so i'm not going to pick up any of this but they do have it at a great price if you don't care as much and you're looking for this stuff okay this is the first thing i found that i feel like is honestly a really bad deal so the gain and the tide you can find it a lot cheaper at walmart and target I would not get this here. They do have their own brands, so I think they're kind of pushing you more to buy like their brands. 
but I wouldn't recommend buying those here. Okay, hot deal alert. Three wick candle, the exact same size as Bath and Body Works for only $3.99. In my hand, I have Frosted Vanilla. You guys know how much I love sickeningly sweet scents, and this does not disappoint. I'm definitely gonna pick up this one, smell a couple of the others, but this is an awesome deal. I just went digging and I found this one, and this one smells really, really good too, and it's so cheap. It's only $4. It's the exact same size and three wick. It looks exactly like a Bath and Body Works one for literally an eighth of the price. Okay, so I'm here in like the Aldi finds section. This is all new to me. It looks like a lot of different like gift ideas. So they have like women's robes for $10, a lot of different colors, different like textures as well. They have men's robes for 15. They have like children's pajamas that have like Disney princesses on them for $10. Just like tons of different gift sets. These are really cool. They have like baking ones, a candle warmer set. It comes with like different wax melts and a candle warmer. It looks like they have a couple different varieties of that. They also have an essential oils roll on set for $12.99. Looks like they have a couple different varieties of that. That's pretty cool. Cool. Little like leak proof kids cup. I actually think this is a pretty popular brand So that seems to be an on-brand thing and has like Disney on it And then they just have a lot of different like toy sets for kids. They have like Disney ones. They have lol dolls Looks like they have stuff for all different age groups coloring Jenga type things big stuffed animals This could be a good place to find some affordable gifts for Christmas. Oh my god, mr. And mrs. Potato head I love your work here in the soda aisle same thing They do have like some name brand stuff and then like their version next to it but the name brand stuff is so expensive. Like one case of Coke for $5. I feel like at Publix you can get them three for 12. Okay, my finding so far has been that they have some name brand stuff, but it's super marked up pushing you to buy their off brand stuff, which is totally fine. But I just don't think it'd be worth it for someone to come here looking for name brand stuff because it's not worth it to purchase it. I feel like so far the cheese selection has been awesome. Haven't made it over into the dairy or the meats yet, but I'm really excited to. But that's my finding so far. They definitely like push you to buy theirs, which is totally fine. That's definitely like their MO, but that's just been my general observation. Also, I'm in the cereal aisle and I'm laughing because growing up we didn't have like a ton of money and we had a lot of kids. There was five kids in my family. So my mom would buy a lot of off-brand stuff, which is totally fine. Definitely like worth it to do that when you have a lot of people to feed and you need to save money. But I just saw the fruit rounds, which are like the off-brand version of Fruit Loops. And I can specifically remember like getting upset with my mom saying like you can buy off brand whatever you want But I don't want fruit fruity hoops. I want fruit loops and it just made me laugh So I need to send her a picture of that. I was so passionate I feel like the fruit flavored cereals well when I was younger definitely tasted so different if they were the off brand Maybe now they're better But when I was little I was very passionate about eating fruit loops and not fruit hoops This is cool. This looks a lot like Kodiak cakes protein pancake and waffle mix They have a regular one and then they have like an oat version for $2.99 Really similar in price to the Kodiak brand, but I would be interested in trying this. This is fun. They have a lot of different like pizzas and stuff. Pizzas, calzones, stuff you can just pop in the oven and you are good to go. They also have like cauliflower crusted ones, pepperoni, all different types of pizza. And like I said, also calzones. Okay, we have made it over to like the meat section. Let's see what kind of deals they have here. Well, this is awesome. Like a pork roast with vegetables. You can just throw it right in the crock pot for $7.99. Super easy dinner idea. These are awesome too. We love these. We have about one of these a week at Walmart. They're almost $10. So this is definitely a way better deal. It looks like they also have it in a beef roast version for $10. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know that I just started eating meat again like maybe in September so like three months ago I haven't had beef yet I'm really scared to eat beef so I don't know if I'm ever gonna eat red meat probably eventually but I haven't yet I'd love to get the roast beef one it'd be perfect for Christmas honestly but I don't think I want a chance having red meat for the first time on Christmas the last time I ate red meat was the last time I ate meat and it made me really really sick and it's why I stopped eating meat so honestly I just have this like deep-rooted fear that my body can't process red meat and also red meat is really bad for you so we just eat a lot of like chicken and pork right now, but maybe someday. The deals on the chicken are really good. These big packs of chicken at Publix are typically double the price. They're around $20 for the pack, so almost $4 a pound. And here it's $10 for the giant pack. Depends on how much, of course, because it goes by weight, but really, really good deals. These giant packs of tenderloins are like four to $5 a piece. Literally such great deals. They have a little dairy section. It's not that big. They have like yogurts, cream cheeses, butters. Then over here is like sausages, hot dogs, bacon, that sort of thing. Then it goes into like juices, whipped creams, and then finally milk, but the selection is pretty small. These are fun. For $2.89, they have maple vanilla whipped cream and pumpkin spice whipped cream. I feel like the store's a little bit behind because like it's definitely Christmas, and the only eggnog I've seen is this one. 
but I wish that they had peppermint because I never found the one at Target and I really want to try peppermint whipped cream. Okay, just found another candle deal. These ones are even bigger. These candles are 18 ounces, so they are a little bit bigger. They are only single wick though, and they are $4.99. They have a bunch of different scents. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and smell them all, but this is a pretty good deal. I just don't like single wick candles personally. These are fun. They have a balsamic tasting pack, so it's like silver, gold, and platinum label, so three different kinds of balsamic, and then this glaze tasting pack. So like strawberry glaze, raspberry glaze, and original. These are fun. They are balsamic glazes, and these are $7.99. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and pick this up because we make so many chicken dishes that are pretty plain, and we're like, oh, we wish this had like a glaze, or it'd be so much better with something fruity, so I'm definitely gonna pick this up. This is a great deal for $6.99. They do have the Starbucks K-Cups, they have the Holiday Blend, and Peppermint Mocha. Great price, name brand. I endorse this deal. They do have another selection of wine, like non-refrigerated. I have heard of some of them, pretty good prices. The one that caught my eye was the Ghoul wine. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I used to be a manager in the Germany Pavilion at Epcot and we sold that like hotcakes for way more than $4.99. So definitely a hot deal if you like mulled wine or you're looking to serve that or have that on Christmas. These look nice too, they caught my eye. This one you get two different bottles of wine and then this one you get four and they come in a really nice wooden box. So that could be a really nice gift for a wine lover. And then just some more frozen stuff. Kind of reminds me of like Trader Joe's, the little like cheesecakes, some veggies, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of organization. They have really good deals on ham. I feel like a lot of people have ham for Christmas. Right now they're having it for 95 cents a pound. For different ones, they have different prices. This one is just for carving. It's just like a lot smaller. It's like at the side of a ham. Spiral cut, double glazed, brown sugar ham. Lots of different types, but perfect for Christmas. I'll probably buy my Christmas ham here. I'm gonna take a whack at making my mom's Christmas ham, so wish me luck. They of course have all like the chicken tendies, buffalo wings, kid dinosaur nuggets, french fries, all of that sort of thing, but the frozen section is a little bit limited. And then the frozen dessert selection is really small as well. This is all they have for like ice cream. They do have some name brand stuff like those mochi, Brian loves those. And then this caught my eye too, these New York cheesecake bites. Oh, I want to eat that. They have like frozen pie crust, different little ice cream fun things, but the ice cream selection ends here. It's really, really small. That's kind of fun and looks kind of healthy. Holiday tree pizza. It is with spinach, cheddar cheese, red and yellow bell peppers, and pesto cream sauce. That's kind of fun. I kind of want that. It's only $3.99. It looks fun. I haven't really gotten too much fun stuff. And then they have the holiday star pizza as well. And this one is with cheddar cheese, red and green bell peppers, and mozzarella pearls. So really really similar, but I like pesto So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the pesto one, but how cute is that these could not look more similar to the Trader Joe's one I'll try to find a picture and like put it up here on the screen so you can see the packaging But these look really similar almost identical to some of the packaging they have for the frozen pizza at Trader Joe's Okay, so I feel like I have everything I want. I might need more bags They do have bags that you can purchase like reusable ones But I do recommend just bringing your own if you already have some they have like the thinner ones like almost similar to normal bags But they are a little bit thicker and these are only 10 cents each so it's not bad if you forget your bags it's definitely not the end of the world but I recommend just bringing your own then the reusable ones if you want ones that you can keep using that have like the nice handles those are $1.99 and they do have a couple of different patterns okay so the checkout process is really hectic basically they just like scan up all your stuff and they don't bag it for you and then you come over to this like desk area and you bag everything yourself but it is really confusing I feel like with them having just opened they should probably like convey that better because the cart you're using to shop isn't the cart that they put your stuff in. I don't know, it's kind of confusing. So, I don't know, it's a little bit confusing and a little bit hectic, but I feel like once you come once and you get the hang of it, it wouldn't be that bad. But guys, I got all of my stuff. I got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna do a haul for you when I get home. And I only spent $110, like a lot of steals around here. I even got like two candles, a bunch of meat, so much awesome stuff, and I only spent $110. Great deal. Nothing left 
Oops. Okay, so set everything up so I can just do like a quick haul for you guys. Like I said, I picked up these chips for the delivery drivers. I want to set up a little basket for them. The different styles of breadcrumbs. I got a thing of mild salsa. I like to put mild salsa and chicken like in a crock pot. Let it cook all day and then you shred it and use it for like easy chicken tacos. I got a thing of couscous. We had this with our HelloFresh box and I really liked it so I picked up some of that. Got a thing of chicken broth, some liquid egg whites. I did pick up one of the cheeses for us to try. I got the Tuscan inspired Fontina so we'll see about that. Then I decided to grab those glazes. I got a big pack of chicken for $10. I got this really yummy looking Southwest style chicken for $4.47. I did decide to pick up that pork roast with veggies for $7. And then I also found this seasoned pulled pork with barbecue sauce, just super easy for like sandwiches or wraps, super easy lunches. We're almost out of flour, so I grabbed that. And then I actually did end up getting that cauliflower dip with roasted chive and pepper jack, just looked really good. And it is cauliflower, so maybe it seems a little bit healthy. I got that brownie batter hummus. I did decide to pick up the berries, the mango salsa, apples the mandarins a bag of sweet butter lettuce like i said we wanted to do tacos so i decided to pick up a couple different types of tortilla i am team flour tortilla brian is team corn tortilla so definitely let us know down below which one you are and then i decided to pick up two of the three wick candles i got first snow which smells kind of like swedish pepperminty almost and then frosted vanilla this one smells so good I did decide to pick up that mozzarella, cherry, tomato, and arugula little pizza, and then this little pesto one. We like to have these with like a salad as a super easy dinner. We are trying to eat a lot healthier, but I do need to be realistic of some days. You just need something quick and easy, so I decided to pick up those. I did pick up the little pizzaili cookies. They're like made of air. There's really like no calories in them. Super easy to have at night if you just want something easy to snack on. And then with the holidays coming up, I did decide to grab the graham cracker crust just for us to have, as well as a thing of semi-sweet toll house cookies nestle to lauza what's that from someone say in the comments i know you guys won't let me down and then i did just grab a oven roaster pan because they were kind of difficult for us to find around thanksgiving and just in case we decide we need one for christmas i wanted to just have it on hand plus it was only like 97 cents so really good deals i'm really happy with everything i picked up this was all only 110 dollars. i'm really excited about everything i picked up i feel like i got some great deals i liked aldi a lot it's a brand new aldi so it's really nice it's in a really nice area I did find the checkout process to be a little bit hectic but like I said I feel like it would be a lot easier like the next time I go because I know more of what to expect and the whole like quarter thing it is what it is honestly you can just keep reusing the same quarter a lot of people were like handing people quarters and just using their carts um, instead of going through the whole process of getting one so a lot of people were just kind of like exchanging carts that sort of thing so maybe you want to bring wipes if you want to wipe it down that way you're not using the same cart as other people it didn't really look like they were wiping them down in between uses so just for like COVID safety if you want to go ahead and bring wipes that way you can wipe down your own cart but I liked it a lot I really enjoyed it it's fun it's another different store that we have honestly I live in an area where they built up the houses so quickly and there's like no like stores or restaurants there's a lot of like quick casual food places but still for the amount of people that live here it's just not enough but that is gonna be it for me today I hope you liked this grocery shop with me and seeing everything that I got it was super fun for me to share it with you like I said I liked Aldi a lot I'll definitely go back there I don't think it's a one-stop shop like it's fun to go if you need to like get some quick stuff save some money definitely great for like the meats and stuff like that great cheese selection as well but it's not a one-stop shop like for me Trader Joe's isn't a one-stop shop either so it's one of those situations but it is right next to a Publix where I live so I would definitely go back I'm really excited to take Brian there I feel like he will really like it but that is gonna be it for me today I hope that you liked this video and found it helpful maybe you got some like meal ideas or inspiration and I just know that people like to see what other people buy at the grocery store if you like this video definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you next time bye guys <laughs>